So today we have decided to be the gardeners and um, specifically for the grass. What are you doing, Philip? I'm picking up the sticks that will hurt the scarifier. Okay, all right. Well, that's helpful. Yay, happy Philly. Easily entertained. Good. May, may that long continue. Ta-da! This is the new machine and this is what we will be working with today on the grass. Now, this is a scarifier and for those of you who don't know what scarifier is, it's basically a machine that's got, I guess, knives and, and, and little fingers or whatever to pull out all the moss from underneath. Um, so that's what the job of it is. The moss really suffocates the grass and we really don't really have much grass here at the chapel front of garden because it's so shady and um, we've reduced the shade as much as possible but the grass is dying so we need to remove this that's essential to have lush um, grass lawn basically have the neighbors envy looking at your lawn and thinking wow it's amazing so that's what we're doing today so these are the trees that provide a lot of shade amongst others and this is why it's shady these are beautifully pollarded trees currently but we moved in they weren't pollarded for a very very long time uh, pollarding is essentially you know giving it a haircut and um, yeah they produced a lot of shade which killed the grass because the grass couldn't get any sunshine hey hun why don't you tell everyone why we've got a petrol scarifier that's brand new yeah so yeah this one's petrol because it's more powerful the one before that we had was electric one and we bought it and we're trying to scarify the lawn over there and that was during the um, show which we were filmed for Escape to the Chateau DIY and um, we, we managed to do a few uh, sort of runs up and down and then it completely died. All right, let's start it. Right. Ready? Yeah. Well, she's currently managed more than the electric one did in the same place. So fingers crossed. Han Han. So it's done okay, but we'll need a second run. As always, you should always crisscross. Um, but you can see how much um, moss is, is taken off. It's about an inch. That's incredible, you know? Look did at you, you. Did you miss a bit? Well, yeah, of course you go, you, you're going to. This is why you need to do two runs. But look, this is how much basically stuff that was killing the grass. That's the reason we're doing it, honey. Cool. Right, back to it. We have some helpers here in the garden whilst I'm demossing. It's these little bugs. They basically eat anything that is decaying in the grass. That could be bugs, grass, moss, everything. So they've been helping and doing the best they can for a long time. But obviously it's a bit difficult to cope with such big size hence we're giving nature a hand so thanks guys so far i think they're called um uh fire, fire marshals or fire bugs something like that so cool look at them just sunbathing doing what we should be doing here's its second passing and as you can see it doesn't look much different to the first passing there's still lots of debris but at least we're making progress now I've finished working here I'm gonna go and get Philly so that he can go and collect all the grass from uh, this uh, grass area whilst I'm working here Philly is working on the stump finished uh, with the grass can you please come and collect it yeah okay with the luma. it looks wonderful look at you destroying is this three stumps it's a lot it's a good old stumpy stump grinder yeah can you please come and remove it there's tons of it thank yeah, you I... <clears throat> using our trusty lawnmower please mm. thanks all the way from wales you need to serve it.
how fantastic it looks now that it's been scarified. It's as if the ground has been hoovered. There's still a bit moss left, but it's a pretty good start. So hopefully we're going to have lush grass soon. While Angelina's been scarifying, I've been clearing up the banks of the moat, ready for our bigger project. Right, I've been working away on this all day, getting rid of another tree stump and clearing this area so we can lay grass seed. A bit more tomorrow. What a lovely evening. Hear the birds? We're just on a walk on our driveway filled with these lovely yellow flowers. Buttercups, darling. Buttercups, Felices. I don't know what they're called. I just like them. Thanks. Lightning likes them too. Come on, then. Let's go and have our one exercise a day. Come on. What is it? Look how long it is. Look behind me. Look how long it is. That's a kilometer. That's a decent walk, isn't it? And a shadow is just behind those trees. But this driver goes all the way there. And like something like that. Little walk for lunch, now back to work. Right, this is going to be where our polytunnel is going to live. We want to put it up. It blew down, blew away in a storm and uh, we just gave up, fairly disheartened. This is our little gardener's cottage. So this area is gonna get some much needed love. Okay, as you can see, there's old fencing from where they used to keep the chickens up here, which has got all sorts of stuff grown through it. And I need it all to go so I can get mowers and stuff through and open this space up. So let's get to it. This is a fairly boring and monotonous task, but it's got to be done if we ever want to keep this area clean and tidy. This mower really does get abused here. It clears up everything. Now even the old polytunnel frame is being cleared of the weeds so we can get that back up and used. So today I've managed to clear a path through here to, to where the chicken coop used to be from previous occupants, which of course just made it a complete mess. Our little gardener's cottage. Now I can get the mower through, it won't overgrow. There's our polytunnel frame. And there's a view across the field at the back and our two little raised planter beds. And of course, the ivy covered wall. Oh, I have an idea. There'll be like flowers there, typically French flowers. So it's going to be very pretty. Okay, right, let's get back to planting. Yes, I need your help. So we're planting? Yes, we are. We're finally planting. We've been manning and we've been meaning to do this project for the last like five years, but seriously for the last three. <laughs> Today's today. Okay, what are we planted? What have we got to show? I don't, I, I don't know, a whole bunch of seeds. I've never done planting in my life. I'm not very good green fingered, but I am great at exotic plants and flowers in our house. Okay, right. What have we got over here? Or what have you planted already? 
some normal onions, red onions, leeks, like basically vegetables, uh, vegetables. I'm, I'm great at herbs, but I thought I'll give a go at some vegetables. Of course you're great at herbs. Everyone's great at herbs. They just grow. Yeah. Okay. So. Right. So what have you got in the bags? Um, I have, I have chives. I have these black bean, I don't know what eyes, red beans, peas. I've got some purple broccoli. I'm so excited about that. And I have also watermelon, which is going to be really awesome. Can you grow watermelon in these conditions? Apparently in France you can. Yeah, maybe in the south. No, they said Normandy. Some, there was a video somebody was doing so, yeah. And then kale. I don't really like kale, but you know. It's no. very hardy and you know. Mm. We'll introduce it to some smoothies. Oh, and your favourite, cherry tomatoes. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that because they're really expensive in France for some reason. Yes. Okay, now chives, my favourite. Let's do that. I love chives. Chives in everything. What I really need is some spring onions, but... The shops are out of those seeds because everyone went into panic and bought loads of seeds so i don't have any spring onion but later i'm sure i will okay what are you doing with the cane i'm just laying a i don't know how to call it a driveway for these chives to grow <laughs> the chive yeah. driveway all right yeah it's a little trick I saw in one of the videos. Okay. Remember, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I need to. I need some examples. It'll be very straight. Yeah. Okay. Much like everything this week, nothing's happening quickly. So let's move on. Yeah. One of the ways I like to relax and pamper myself is by doing my very own exfoliating scrub because my hands get really, really dry and dehydrated from all the work that I do here outside and inside the chateau. So I'm going to share this tip with you. Uh, a little background about me is um, I'm actually um, beauty therapy qualified um, when I was um, a very, very young age in my 20s. So the only two ingredients that pretty much we're going to need um, is coffee grounds is the main one. And I have a selection here from my coffee drinking. Coffee grounds are well known to be excellent at dead skin exfoliating. So in this one, we're gonna make a cleansing exfoliator. So I'm just gonna add some ground coffee here. And then a little bit of soap. So I will just mix this up into a mixture that I like. So yeah, I have my own little exfoliating coffee bean soap. I typically use my exfoliating and cleansing coffee grounds in the shower because it does tend to get quite messy. So I'll just apply it all over it. It'll really exfoliate my, my face. Obviously my hands is different. I can just do it in the sink. And hey, why not just use it uh, all over your body as well with a shower gel, a nice mixture. So that's done. Uh, after you've done that, I would highly recommend to create your own moisturizer. But with this one, I'm gonna do a little trick. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of sugar. Now, sugar is an amazing um, hydrator for the skin. It will leave your skin naturally soft. So, coffee, some oils. Um, now, I'm, I'm using uh, my own, which is um, jojoba oil, which is my favorite. Um, you could add some essential oils and I'm going to, I think, add just whatever, a small amount of sugar. It, you want to mix it into a uh, fine paste. It will remain hydrated like this. I mean, I'm not going to lie, your shower is going to look like a bomb site, <laughs> but 
you just hose it down with a shower head and then all will be back to normal it's quite a frightful scene but hey it's great for the skin you know i don't have any concerns of it going down into um, well we have septic tank but obviously into the environment because it's only coffee some oil and sugar and it's absolutely fine i, I haven't added any essential oils but you could if you want to and that's it it's ready to go give this a go it's really quick and easy to make and i'm sure you will be pleased with the results and stay at home safe pampering yourself what else is there to do right thanks for watching please like share and subscribe in order to catch all of our videos